Welcome to our comparison video on switching from 235 40ths R18 to 225 40ths R18. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 1.2%, which is well within the acceptable 3% range for a safe interchange. Therefore, this switch is viable without the need for significant adaptations. Switching to the 225 40ths reduces the vehicle's diameter by 0.31 inches, slightly lowering the ground clearance. This reduction is minimal and unlikely to significantly impact daily driving but may affect off-road performance where every bit of clearance matters. The 225 40ths has a width of 8.86 inches, which is 0.39 inches narrower than the 235 40ths. This narrower tire may result in a slightly smaller contact patch, which can affect traction and stability, especially during aggressive driving maneuvers or in off-road conditions. Switching to 225 40ths decreases the sidewall height by 0.16 inches. While this change is minor, it may lead to a slightly firmer ride, as the smaller sidewall height offers less impact absorption compared to the 235 40ths. With the smaller 225 40ths tires, the speedometer will read slightly higher than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 19.75 miles per hour. Based on our observation, switching from 235 40ths to 225 40ths offers both benefits and shortcomings. On road, the narrower width can enhance fuel efficiency and improve handling in wet conditions by reducing hydroplaning. However, the reduced sidewall height may lead to a firmer ride. Off-road, the decreased ground clearance and narrower width might reduce the vehicle's ability to navigate rough terrains effectively. Overall, the differences are relatively minor and may not be noticeable in daily driving, but they become significant in specific performance scenarios.